Hey guys, it's Anthony here from iBlock, and today we're going to be installing our Pro Kit Springs on this 2020 BMW M4. This BMW M4 already has our front and rear anti roll kit, which has made a significant change in response to control of the car. The Pro Kit we're installing today should help even further by lowering the center of gravity and increasing spring rate to improve steering response and increase braking performance. So before we put this on the lift, we're going to remove a couple things from under the hood to make this job a little easier. We're going to start by removing the plastics here and here and remove the carbon fiber strut tower bar. Now that we removed all the plastics, the windshield wipers, and everything for the strut tower bar, we're gonna go ahead and lift the vehicle up and remove the stock springs. So first we're gonna start by removing the sway bar end link. Then we're gonna remove the wheel speed sensor out of this bracket. Then we're gonna remove the connector for our adaptive dampers for our shocks. Then we're gonna remove the 16 millimeter nut for the steering knuckle. Use a separator tool to separate the strut from the knuckle. After that, remove the plastic cover to loosen the lower control arm in order to remove the shock. Then we're gonna remove the five 16 millimeter bolts for our strut assembly. Now with the shock removed, we're gonna go ahead and remove this electrical connector and then go ahead and remove our shock from our spring. With our Pro Kit spring installed into our shock assembly, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the shock. When reinstalling the shock, make sure the shock is aligned with the slot in the knuckle. So to kind of make this simpler, or as if I was doing it at home, we're gonna go ahead with our shock bolted up and our assembly here hanging down for the hub. We're gonna go ahead, pull the shock over into this hub. Now, typically what you're supposed to do is lift the hub up and get it into the certain spot here. You can see where it sits flush. We're gonna go ahead and use our jack. So we're using the rubber here to protect the big brakes here on the M4. Uh, that way we make sure that we don't leave any dents or dimples or create any noise after we're done with this. There we go. Or while I have the jack here, I like to tighten the knuckle to the shock housing. Go ahead and insert the bolt for the shock housing. Make sure we have this bracket in the back here. Run the bracket in the back perfectly there and go ahead and tighten our 16 millimeter bolt. With the passenger side complete, repeat the process on the driver's side and reinstall the strut tire brace under the hood. Now that we just finished our front suspension, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the rear. To remove our rear spring, we're gonna go ahead and remove the 21 millimeter and the 18 millimeter from our rear lower control arm. Using a 10 millimeter, remove the right height sensor on the driver's side lower control arm. Removing the sensor allows us to lower the lower control arm enough to remove the spring. So with the stock springs out, now we can install our Eibach Pro Kit rear spring. Reinstall the wheels and tighten the lug bolts to factory specifications.
By installing the Pro Kit and Anti Roll Kit, the M4 benefits from more control on and off throttle around turns, as well as an increase in steering response, making the car feel much lighter and more nimble than before. So that wraps up today's install on this 2020 BMW M4. After installing the Pro Kit, we lowered the vehicle three quarters of an inch in the front and half an inch in the rear. For more information, visit iBox.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.